St. Patrick's Day in Ireland is always very colourful, but green, white and orange have never been colours I've found easy to sketch. In today's two sketches, I'm going to show you how I approached this particular situation. First indoors in a cafe and then outside on the streets of Galway City. So what tools did I use? Well, I used my 55 degree nib fountain pen. Love it. Great expressivity in the line width. I used Diatramentis Document Ink in brown and waterproof ink. I used a very nice travel watercolour brush, synthetic plus natural hair. Um, I used my favourite watercolours. This is a box of a mixture, some Roman Schmal Aquarius colours, some by Schmincke, including the super granulating range, some by Daniel Smith. A very cheap box of glitter gel pens meant for kids, but great fun all the same. Um, the paper I used is the Hanamula 100% um, cotton uh, watercolour sketchbooks. I think they're 250 grams in weight and I really love this paper. So for my first sketch, I stopped in this cafe a couple of days before St. Patrick's Day and I just loved that display in the middle of the room, the leprechaun, the balloons. I knew I'd really enjoy capturing all those bright colours. So in this sketch, you can see the drawing is already done and I'm beginning to apply some pretty strong colours. And it, here I'm mixing the two shades of green together so that they appear different even when they're dry. Applying some very dilute colour for the white balloon and on the flowers. And that's pretty much it with the, with the tables in the background. I did try to leave out the setting, but I found that I really had to include it. It just didn't look right without it. Well, I was quite pleased with the result and I suppose the key in my mind was the fact that I kept the background extremely muted so it didn't fight with the foreground at all and that allowed me to be as bright as I wanted to be, including all those little gel pens as well. So after I'd done this, I nipped outside and there was pretty much howling a gale, but I managed to catch those flags, typical St. Patrick's Day weather. Before we move on from this sketch, I want to just tell you that the little details you see here, like the reflections in the table and so on, are just so important. They make all the difference. Those reflections on the floor, in the shadows, all that kind of thing, they really make the difference between a very boring sketch and a really fabulous one. And I wasn't done yet, so in I went into Galway City and the flags looked so gorgeous strung across the street on Key Street. And I thought, okay, well, I failed doing flags in bright colours before. Let's see if I can make a better job of it this time. And when I started with my little half pint of Guinness, the important thing was to get those ellipses right. I ran out of ink there, you can see a blob. And then I used the wide side of the foodie pen to quickly fill in large parts of the deep black multi drink. Took a while to dry. And then I put in the vertical shadow underneath it using a bit of Payne's Grey. Shiny table, really, really strong reflection of the glass on the table. Immediately begins to look a bit more realistic. I used a very dilute yellow ochre to do the little bit of froth or the mousse on top of the pint. And then I quickly filled in brown behind the glass to represent the little chair. And then I put a, started putting in the flags. And a few quick lines indicated the little plastic rat and chair in the background. A bit of ashtray on the table doesn't go amiss either. Drawing getting very detailed, putting in loads of flags, joined by some workers on their lunch break. Really gorgeous with all those flags fluttering. And when I actually got around to, to colouring in the flags, I used my, my gel pens to capture the bright colours, even if they weren't the right colours. And I kept the background colours extremely muted. You can see here I'm using deep sea black, uh, deep sea violet, sorry, by um, Schmincke, the super granulating colour. And there we have it, almost done. And I beefed up some of the colours on the flags with a little bit of extra paint colour to make it a bit more realistic. So that's what I did with the sketch. And here is what Galway looks like on St. Patrick's Day. 